As Christians, there are many things that we may differ on, that we may argue over, especially, you know, in this day and age right now, there are so many wolves out there that are looking to, you know, really, you know, devour and, you know, imitate as pastors in the pulpit. Um, Then there's also, you know, twisted doctrine and theology and all of that. The one thing that I always say should be a common bond that should be really non-negotiable amongst Christians is prayer. And when those that are in need of prayer, that request prayer, that should be something that, you know, again, no matter, you know, how you feel about the individual pastor or leader, that is something that we should collectively all be able to come together to do. And if we can't do that, well, then we are, I mean, really in some major trouble. So uh, I just want to kind of put that out here at first. And we're going to talk here about, well, John MacArthur's right-hand man, Phil Johnson, who got some pretty upsetting news. We're going to get into all the details of it. But before we even do that, I want to welcome all of you to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you as always, always that we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story? How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. And if you really enjoy and appreciate my work here and you would like to contribute with a donation to help me out, a couple different ways you could do that. One, by just hitting the super thanks button on the YT video here or join my Patreon. For as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description. Hey, do you guys want to get access to all of these videos before they ever hit the main YT platform? Well, you'll be ahead of everybody else when you do. When you sign to Patreon, that is exactly what you're going to get along with a bunch of other cool features. I hope you'll check it out and join me over there. Again, patreon.com slash not by site news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, there are many things that I've spoke before that I like about John MacArthur and Phil Johnson, and there are, well, just as many things that I don't like about them. And I've called them out for it before. But again, going back to what I said here at the beginning, being able to pray for others and lift those up in need should be something that we should all be able to do, despite how we may feel about these individuals as leaders. Now, Phil Johnson um, is the executive director of Grace to You, which is another ministry of John MacArthur. Of course, he's got his radio ministry. He's got so many different ministries. And Johnson is is the executive director of that, as well as an elder for Grace Community Church. But he's also an ordained pastor in his own right. And he has been associated with John MacArthur going all the way back to 1981. Phil Johnson is 70 years old right now. And well, we know that. You know, MacArthur is, is now well up into his early 80s at this point. It was back in April that, well, Johnson was sent to the hospital because of, you know, what was a pulmonary embolism. And doctors discovered that he had quite a bit of malfunction in his kidneys. He was put on dialysis. Um, there were other you know, tests that were run as well. He was kind of in and out of the hospital over those next couple of months. But it was on June 10th that Phil Johnson had put out an update on his social media to inform everybody about, well, another very serious issue that has come up. Now, he said that if it wasn't for the pulmonary embolism and the kidney issue that he was having, uh, they may never have noticed what they revealed to him uh, now, which is that he has been diagnosed with multiple myeloma. This is an incurable form of blood cancer. This is a very, very serious matter. And again, there is no cure for this. However, according to Johnson, because doctors found this early enough, uh, they are starting an aggressive form of treatment, which they do believe could eventually lead to remission. Now, part of this treatment will include um, a complete bone marrow treatment a complete bone marrow transplant uh, that Johnson will be undergoing very soon. And he is doing everything in his power right now 
to stay positive throughout this process. Again, it's just going to take a lot out of him. And, uh, you know, the fact, again, you know, it's, it's like one of those things where it kind of attacks the other organs in the body, uh, a form of protein that goes after it. Um, but had they not caught it early enough, uh, you know, it may have been too late at that point, doctors are saying, for them to be able to do anything to, to where, you know, any sort of treatment would even work at all. So he is very fortunate and he is thanking God right now uh, for the fact that it was caught. And he is encouraging, you know, everybody, you know, who, who basically hears this to uh, keep him lifted up in prayer that he is able to get through this um, because that is not, not something you would want to see anybody go through. And, and I just, I, I take it back to what I said again, because I, I have seen people and I do not agree with this at all. And again, you know, Phil Johnson has, you know, backed up some statements of MacArthur that I think have just been completely wild and out there and, and things that MacArthur has said that I don't agree with. And Johnson has kind of backed him up on those. And I mean, kind of serving as his right hand man. I mean, in, in a way he's, that's what you kind of expect, right? He's going to defend this guy no matter what. And again, on a variety of topics that I have not agreed with before in the past, but at the same time, I don't agree with people who would celebrate something like this because believe it or not, there are sickos out there that would do just that. Um, and I've seen it before with other pastors and leaders who have, you know, gotten sick with something to where, you know, there are people out there and they call themselves Christians, by the way, who, who actually are happy about it when it, when it takes place, which is again, uh, just something that is completely disgusting for them to do. Um, and I would not agree with that in any way for anybody who would be cheering what has happened to Phil Johnson um, or even John MacArthur. Because John MacArthur had his health struggles as well, we know, uh, that took place back in, in 2023. And, and I saw people that were very happy about that as well, um, which is just wrong, which is just wrong. And God will deal with all those people who actually will, you know, dare to celebrate something like that. It's just It's just wrong to do. And again, we should be able to come together as Christians to lift these individuals up in prayer. We don't have to think. We don't have to agree with their theology. We don't have to agree with everything they say. They don't have to be our pastor. But again, we should be able to pray for them when they ask. We don't want to see anybody have to suffer through any sort of a disease or whatever it may be, especially one now is, is challenging and is life-threatening as what Phil Johnson is facing. Again, good thing they caught it early. And they're applying treatment now. They're starting the process. And let's hope that Phil Johnson can, you know, get a, a complete, you know, bill of health here. And he'll be able to continue on. And as far as his uh, regular ministry duties go, we don't know if that's going to be affecting any of his regular day-to-day -day activities. I would assume that it would to an extent and that he may have to, you know, take some time away for these treatments and any other, you know, the, the, the bone marrow transfer and all of that. I mean, even John MacArthur took some time away uh, when he had his heart issues back in 2023, and then he was you know, right back up there preaching again. So, you know, we just, you know, one more time, I just want to say, you know, uh, lift up Phil Johnson in your prayers uh, for a speedy recovery from this. And I welcome your thoughts as well, especially if you were somebody that attends Grace Community Church if you have been impacted in any way by Phil Johnson, even, uh, I want to hear from you. You can let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I think Phil Johnson has like 77,000 followers on his X account. So he's, he's, got a, he's got a pretty big following there. And that's a lot of people, by the way, that will be lifting this man up in prayer. And God does heal. He does hear prayers. And he, he, uh, he answers them. And so let's just set our faith upon that. Um, and be able to lift this man up for God to do a complete uh, miracle in him. Uh, you know, when something is, I'll just kind of end with this, when something is presented as incurable to God, he just laughs at it because, well, he is the God of the impossible. And, well, again, incurable to him is just, uh, I'm sure he laughs at this, let me just say, because um, he knows that sickness and disease, sickness and disease has to bow down to the name of Jesus. And that doesn't just go for Phil Johnson. That goes for any of you as well out there. If you're watching right now and you are somebody that is going through, you know, a disease of some kind. I mean, look at me. I've been battling, uh, you know, being blind now for, um, well, fully blind for uh, just over six years now. But even prior to that, I was vision impaired with only partial sight for 
um, about another seven years before that. So, um, and again, you can watch my full story in the description. I always have a link there of that video. Um, but you know, if you're facing something that you deem is impossible, whatever it is, just know that it's not. Um, learn to trust the Lord. I always tell people, put your faith and trust in Jesus, not in man, okay? Not in pastors, okay? The, the, only in the Lord, especially in these you know days that we're in right now where deception is at an all-time high. We have to remember that, you know, it is our Lord and our Savior who who heals us, not just, you know, physically, but, but mentally as well. Maybe you're going through a mental struggle. He can heal that too. If you trust him with everything that you have, um, I do believe um, that uh, some pretty amazing things are going to come your way. So I'll leave it there. And again, I welcome your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, don't forget as well, if you enjoy and appreciate my work and you would like to contribute to my ministry with a donation, you can hit the super thanks button on the YT video or join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash notbysightnews. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I do this on all of my videos. I've been doing it since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Christ as Savior. So that being said, for anybody watching now, if you are somebody who has not yet accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. It means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the Word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask Him to forgive you, He'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says He doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.